also have the new hotness, the Yellow Jackets. They're back on Showtime. And we finally know who was the first one to take the, the first bite of flesh. And I'm going to leave it there. But it, it's it's I'm very glad that we're moving things along enough to the point where we're going to, you know, where the cannibalism is going to start. Because that's the only reason I'm here. <laughs> have you, um, just so I know, have you seen episode two yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. I haven't had the time to see it. Did, did that come out okay. last night? Yes. Yeah. So okay. I'll tell um, anybody who's watching. We're recording um, this on Saturday. Yes. And you can actually yeah. add. Um, I was able to add Showtime to my Paramount Plus uh, subscription for literally a dollar. Like it it was it went from ten ninety nine a month to eleven ninety nine. Not sure if that's like a, a promo they're only doing for a certain amount of time. But um, I I all I know is that it's it's a dollar more and it's it's in perpetuity i think for me anyways Holy and then shit. um the the episodes the cool thing about this is that the episodes come out on fridays on the app whereas if you watch you know if you watch the show on you know tv on cable they they you have to wait till sundays so uh -huh. it's kind of cool to to see them early but um yeah as far as this ep first episode goes um you know what? I'll say I think that episodes one and two, it should have been one of those situations where they premiered both episodes okay. yeah. on the same night. Because I found I found the first episode to be kind of like low energy and mm -hmm. like um I don't know, just not you know, when you have when you take a show and you leave so many things on a cliffhanger at the end of one season, when you pick up with the next season you better start answering questions and i don't think they really did with that first episode and so i don't know i found it sort of um almost as if it should have been tacked on to the end of last season and episode two oh. is more like the real season opener for this season because let me tell you episode two is is nuts absolutely nuts oh. like I, i'm really excited for you to watch it because um there yeah there i don't want to spoil it but the Ugh. final scene of episode two is um if you thought that 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 ear eating scene was bad the the last season of ep or the last scene of episode two is Ooh. is that Ooh. but times 100 Fuck so. yeah bro okay i'm here for it i am amped because i had been seeing the, some scuttlebutt you know, from uh, like the the Yellow Jacket subreddit about some of the things happening, but I've been trying to hide you know myself as much as I can, you know, from spoilers in that regard. However, I do want to bring up, you know, like just to echo, like you are right. This first episode feels like it. They they should have done a Sam Levinson and had like, oh, it's a special episode in between the seasons, like he does mm -hmm. with Euphoria. You know, where, where, like where you kind of bridge the gap a little bit and then have a proper true, you know, season premiere, you know, following it up. Like, I actually don't mind that kind of a format because, yeah, like there's a lot of ground they have to cover to, yeah, make us OK with the cliffhanger they gave us at the end and wherever they're going to be going with it next. Because just hearing the voice of the ah, what's his name? I can't think of his name because he wasn't in the episode. But he, Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. Hearing Elijah Wood's yeah. voice but not getting any, getting to see him was such a cock tease. And it bugged <laughs> me. I wanted to see more of him. But I do want to shout out my favorite moment from the first episode is Cucked Jeff coming back from <laughs> like raiding his, you know, his wife's lover's like art shed where he had all of the portraits he made of her. And jamming out to some pop roach you know, tore my life into pieces. This is my last resort in his car, like a proper white American male. It was just <laughs> hilarious. And it was, yeah, just kind of meandering after that. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. But as far yeah, the, the, what do you think of the new characters, the new girls? Do they actually <laughs> find a place to belong or are they clearly just the ones who get chopped up and eaten? I'm glad you brought that up. I was totally going to bring the, those people up. Yeah, how they're suddenly they're suddenly giving the red shirts of the Yellow Jackets universe like lines of dialogue and like names. tiny little yeah names and little plot details like like Soup Girl who's always making the soup for everybody and um, 
they're clearly all probably gonna die, I, I'd imagine, and they're just trying to, you know, give them some bit of character development before we see them chopped up into pieces. That would be my guess, but... Um, yeah, the one thing I did want to mention is I, I do like the stuff that they're doing with um, with uh, Shauna's husband um, and stuff. I mean, he that guy that guy is like one of the MVPs of this show, along with uh, Christina Ricci's adult Misty, um, because I feel as if and it's it's always been this way where the teen girl timeline is way more interesting to me than the adults timeline. But I feel as if that gulf is getting bigger now where the I like the, you know, the uh, cabin teen timeline so much more than the adult stuff. And every time the adults come on screen, I don't know, I'm just kind of like, uh, you know, like this is this is fine, but um, I would much rather go back to that cabin. And it's too much it, of a soap when, opera. It's its problem. Yeah. It, it like, yeah. The, if it had the same edge and urgency that it, it should have, it should have edge and urgency because the flashback sequences do like, they're just too settled and they're too comfortable and like laissez faire about everything that happens around them. Like, Oh yeah. My wife who's acting really freaked out about me. Won't even let me like talk to my son at school. Like, oh, why is she freaking out? Oh, it's the weird altar with a dog's head that I've been keeping in my basement. You know, with my alt my alternate personality has been keeping in the basement. There should be more from, like, a reaction and, like, a response to that than just, oh, you know? Like, because they just do react faces in the, in the present. Mm -hmm. And it's just soap opera bullshit. Like, I'm sitting there watching them in the, the art shed getting all of his paintings out of there, the dead lover's paintings shauna and jeff and i'm just like why are you fucking why are you fucking in the plate why are you leaving dna like i was just getting all you know, like you know, <laughs> like t you know, what's the what's the term that they use in this for investigators like online investigators or like you know, like internet sleuths like all of those people like ar armchair detectives armchair detectives are just like yeah. these these fucking idiots like they're just they're leaving a breadcrumb trail right to them like why, <laughs> like why are you why are you busting a nut in there like fucking the car like what come on but yeah, other yeah. than that like yeah it's th th there's a lot of things like that that are just you leave you wondering like okay do they have different people working on the different parts of the show because your know, writing rooms are kind of amorphous it's just a blob mm -hmm. of people coming up with a product and it really does feel like they have the wrong sort of people. Like they need more, they need to diversify a little bit, move some of the yeah. soap opera people to the past to lighten the mood a little, maybe, but not too much. And then get those edgy folk who actually know storytelling in the future, setting the tone. Cause I don't know these showrunners are high on their own supply. They think they are so goddamn clever and like they engage way too much with their fan base, in my opinion. You know, and like oh, yeah. and like entertain their theories a bit too much. And I just worry that we are in another lost situation. Yeah, I, I could I could see that. I could see it turning out that way. But especially, I mean, again, once you watch episode two, they start oh. they start bringing back the the supernatural stuff again. Good. The, you know, the maybe supernatural. Stuff. I mean, you don't know if they're just tripping out on drugs uh, off mushrooms or if there's, you know, shit actually going on. But um i don't know if you had any predictions about where the show is going to go but i had i have two that okay. i want to get out there Fair um enough. the first one is i think that um shauna's daughter is gonna factor in somehow a lot more into this season because they're giving her a lot more screen time and it makes me wonder i don't know if they've ever actually addressed this but is Shauna's daughter in the present timeline? Is she the one who was born in the at the cabin? No, she could not have been, because like, oh. based on where they are in the present, like that child would be in their twenties. Okay, okay. This is this has been well thought okay. about by the fan base. She is not the wilderness baby, and the big mystery is what happens to it. Okay, okay, okay. So that yeah, do they eat I guess the baby, that... Matt? Do you think yeah, they maybe. eat the baby? Oh God, I it, it it could happen. I could see it happening, but um, yeah, it's there's something going on with her character because they're giving her a, a lot more screen time this season, and they're gonna do something with her daughter in some way. And then also, my other sort of big prediction is that um, Javi 
is going to come he is alive and he is going to come back into the fold of um the girls because i think they're setting that up because they need to give uh lottie they, they need to give everybody else a reason to follow lottie to to believe that she, because she's the one who's saying that javi is alive while everybody else is saying he's dead so yeah. they need to make lottie into the um you know religious figure and for everybody to follow her so i think javi is going to be found alive no that's that seems to be pretty likely and i think what the he and this is based i'm getting this based on footage that was in trailers from season one that we never saw in season one going like mm -hmm. along stairs with like candles descending and i think it's lottie walking down those stairs in the shot and she's wearing like her like white gown and mm -hmm. That never showed up in season one. But I think what they're going to find on the mountain is that there's a mine there or something. And that is going to okay. be, and that uh, there's going to be some kind of like vault or like your, your, our hatch, you know, because it's this, like lost, unfortunately. And that's where Javi's going to be surviving. Cause I, I, or I don't know, either that or he's like running away. Cause like I, I get the impression in season like I haven't seen episode two so I don't know but that like patch of melted snow like showing that someone had been sleeping there. <clears throat> so I don't he's he's got to be out there. Yeah, but, he's out there. But yeah, like my my wonder if I have one, I guess, is yeah, like is 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 whether or not like Javi's gonna show up in the present day because his brother got murdered. You know, and is he going to have revenge on his mind? Did he maybe have something to do with it? I don't know. Maybe episode two would tell me. Does it? It, Does it doesn't, it? no. <laughs> okay, no. okay, it doesn't. All right. Well, we'll, we'll. Although they do they do revisit um, Travis's death in episode two. So, um, yeah, look forward to that. That is one of the really, really bonkers scenes of episode two. But um, so, yeah, I mean, I guess to, to kind of cap this off, um, anybody who watched episode one, definitely, <laughs> definitely watch episode two, because I do, I do really feel like a after I watched episode one, I was a little bit down on the show. And yeah. then once I saw, once I saw episode two, I was like, okay, we're back. We're back now. Yeah. This is, this is like yellow jackets season one territory. Now we're, we're not just treading water, even though yep. season one did unfortunately tread water quite a bit in the middle, as I recall. <laughs> So I I have faith that they're going to you know start putting pedal to the metal more frequently cuz it it did leave me somewhat wanting and I'm like they should have just done a 2 hour premiere and just like put it all out on front street give the people what they want that's what we say at theater and stream